And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about a controversial issue at the state capitol, namely this. Should a professional athlete who lives out of state, has no ties to California, and, com and competes for a professional team that is out of state, should that individual be eligible to receive benefits under California's workers' compensation law should he, he or she become injured on the job? My guest this segment is Kurt Hagman, who's the uh, Assembly Republican floor leader, member of the Assembly from Chino Hills. Thank you very much for being with us. Great to be here, Steve. And you are a co-author of legislation that basically answers that question with a no. Sure. And it's not all workers' comp. It's only cumulative trauma. So cumulative trauma is not like someone slips and falls gets hurt or a football player getting okay. hurt on the field. It is when over the years of their working experience, they come up with uh, medical issues like I got sore knees now because I played football for 20 years or that's the case or brain disease from all the concussions correct. Or... correct so what this bill does it says if once you diagnose that issue you have one year to file within California but after that you can't come back so California is the only state that has this so you don't have to be a resident here you don't have to be anything besides maybe suit up one practice in one game out of your 30-year career or you know, maybe played one or two um, games. This is for football, basketball, um, baseball players, NFL, uh, or the hockey league as well. And it has all those that basically they're kind of a separate group. They have their own lifetime medical benefits, their own teams. They could file for workers' comp in their own states. What we're saying is you can't come back 20 years later and ask to get a payoff from your old professional team when you never lived here. And that's being done now? Yeah, it's being done now. In fact, there's been a spike. It was like a flat line of these type of claims until a little more a year ago, and all of a sudden, you know, a couple smart attorneys found a, a loophole in the, in the rules and, and started contacting everybody on this list, all the retired players that played in California, or they didn't have to sign their contract in California but never lived here, and that's enough to give them access to our worker comp system, which blocks out other employees from getting true benefits here. It costs us all through the administration fee of the, of the workers' comp system, as well as it, you know, our workers' comp here take care of our own, our own residents. Now, we should say it's the, the team owners, the employers that pay into the system, and they're the ones that provide the, the actual benefits. Correct. Not taxpayers. Not taxpayers only supports the system. And all the, all the business groups who have workers' comp insurance help pay for the system through the administrative fee in each policy. So as we use the system more, it actually costs all of us a little more, but the direct payout um, for these players come directly from the teams. So this is a battle between the, among other people, the owners versus some former ball players. Correct. And the former ball players would say, well, look, um, I, I performed in California. I pay taxes on what I earned while performing in California, even though I may have played for the Atlantic Fal Atlanta Falcons, for example. Why shouldn't I have access to this? Correct. And what we would say in return is our California-based players play in other states and they don't have access to their workers' comp system. Mm -hmm. So it's not reciprocal. Um, and they do have access to worker comp systems in their own state. They do have full lifetime medical benefits from their teams. Mm -hmm. They do have pensions from their teams. And we do give them the ability to file a claim if they are hurt in California, even if it's diagnosed later. So they got a, you know, they came out the field because they got you know, hit in the leg and they go home and find out later they you know, messed up their knee. Yeah, they can still file. They have a year to file. We just don't want these fake suits coming in because it could cost all, all of us that kind of extra money. But these inv individuals do have some serious debilitations. Sure. If someone finds out 20 years later from concussions, they have a, a brain disease, they can still file a claim here in California within a year of them finding out they have that problem. It's just, um, and over 99% of them have taken cash payouts, not medical benefits, so it kind of tells you. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. It's a fascinating subject. I'm sure we're going to be talking about it more with you and some other members of the legislature. Uh, Kurt Hagman, thanks for coming by. Thank you, Steve. And thanks to our viewers also for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.